But did you notice how that didn't really affect a lot of the later Souls games? Because for some reason, it's the older ones where that shit seems to really stand out. There we go. So we could go for the Night Shield, but I don't think you need shields for the weapon achievement, so I'm just not gonna... There we go. If you're confident in your weapon and you understand how to do this shit, you should be fine. There's also a Boulder Knight around this next corner, he's fun. Ooh, nice hit, dude. Once again, collision stops you from going around them. One of the hardest parts of this game is that. That's why iframes are so important, because understanding when you're invincible is how you get around a lot of these attacks, and a lot of the attacks are much slower than you think they're going to be, because every Souls game after this one is faster. And that's just kind of the formula of that Souls is adhered to. But you need to learn this stuff, and the only way to do it is to do it by repeating it, and that's why the design of the games is the way it is. You come across the similar situations repeatedly to reinforcing your brain and how to deal with them, and by learning and solving those puzzles, the next time you face those puzzles, they're, they're not as vexing to you. And that's kind of the flow of the game, and it's really good at that. I think I'm going to go into the catacombs next. Modify equipment. And because this only goes to plus five, because it's a unique weapon, I don't ever have to worry about ascending it. Where is my fucking weapon? Ah, oh, there you go. I was just completely blind then for some reason. I don't know why. So we need two more and then a slab. And I know a few places to get some uh, slabs. So that's pretty cool. You know what isn't cool? This guy. I hate this enemy. I truly do. I really don't like it. There's the jump. Interesting broke your poise, sir. I don't like him. Never liked him, truth be told. But I understand them, and I understand that I don't like them. <laughs> But we, we got him. We nailed him. We'll probably not fight any more of them. That's about as much of a showcase as I want to give. Understanding his jump properties and how you're safe is really important, but most casual players will never really need to know that because you'll just be like chugging through, armoring up, getting a really strong shield, things like that. Alright, what have you got to buy, sir? Titty shards, weapon boxes, a bunch of swords that I should probably be picking up, but I can also get just by ambient drops. So I can always come back and purchase those at any time. The reflections on the shield are different in this version. I've stared at this shield many times and it stands out incredibly to me how different uh, the, the lighting on the shield looks. It's kind of a big deal. I'm going to go and kill the, the Traveller guy. because I want to see if I can get lucky. Ooh, the active frame was kind then. He will chase you in here if you do not engage him. Do you see that? He just kind of knows. He's been set up to do that for the people that get a little bit ahead of themselves. So don't do that. It ends poorly for you. And be careful of the guy on the stairs. He likes to thrust and then he likes to parry. But if you stand beneath him, he'll have trouble parrying you because the parry properties on top of the stairs are a bad place to be. Uh, you can use alluring skulls here. He's just buffed them. That's a problem. You can also rush the uh, channeler. I don't know why I called him a traveler. That sounds. W Ooh, he's coming for me, dude! I love it when he does that. This guy's a fucking beast. 
You need to be careful of that move as well. Because it has multiple hitting properties. Oh, we didn't do shit. Didn't get shit. Once again, another dodge that I couldn't get around somebody and I ended up getting punished for it. Dark Souls all over that. I don't think it would have been too much to ask to be able to dodge around enemies without having to get stuck on them like brick walls, but I suppose that's one of the ways that they accentuate the artificial difficulty, isn't it? Which is a word people love to use. Artificial difficulty. I ain't even sure what it means, but... Oh god, that was weird. Okay. So I'm using Hornet. Got a decent amount of that stuff on. I could buy some shit off Petrus, or I could spend it on some pointless strength. There we go. Level 24, boys. Mel has never felt so strong. The uh, wasted strength build. That's essentially what this is at this point, but let's continue doing stuff that you really don't really want to do. Which is coming in down here without a divine club. Additionally, if you use a striking weapon against these enemies, you can knock them over and you don't have to fight them. And it's actually a really, really good tool for the simple fact that when you come here early, you do not have the damage needed to to really deal with these enemies. But the, the club weapons and the, the strike damage just shatters them so you don't have to deal. I'm scared of that. And that's why I'm scared of it. It's weird to be able to see it as way as I can see it. You know they're there, and they're obviously there and everything, but... Thanks. Fucker. Nearly bled me. That was weird. I just pressed X and my guy attacked. That's not good. Why did it do that? Ooh, I couldn't get the shimmy. You fucking bitch. Wow. He attacks really fast. That was nice and balanced, Mr. Video Game. Thanks for that. Right on the bonfire as well. I hate that placement. He didn't flinch at all from the hits. He was just kind of cruising straight back into the animation. What a nice man. I'll tell you what does look weird on this, uh, this higher resolution slash higher fidelity version of the game. The... The symbols beneath my stamina bar, they look really bizarre. Because it's the same images, but I'm not used to seeing them in a greater clarity. Because I played this game on uh, Xbox 360 and it looked like shit. And I played it in 720p as well, which makes it look nice and soft. Interesting, that didn't damage me. Good to know. Can it be at the entrance? Oh, you lucky bugger. Alright, let's try rolling this time. Well, where's your super speed, dickhead? Where'd the super speed go? Guy was on, like, fast motion, chucking fireballs. He didn't do it that time. I have no idea. But, we, uh, we salvaged it. Hi. Oh, God, this is not good. Dude, that Demon Souls rolling garbage. You forget they can do it because they don't do it as much in this game. It's terrifying. So the catacombs. Never really do this location. Hi. Should really have a bow for him. I can get these guys to kill themselves though, right? I believe that's how this works. Because you can kind of stand there and they all just do stupid stuff trying to get you. He doesn't. He's a genius. Yeah, he does. He's stupid. And then in here, 
There is him. Who's just a massive bell end. And then his buddies who are just at that right. There's also a guy to my left. I think it's a giant skeleton who fires arrows at you through that side of the room, yeah. It's a normal sized skeleton that I'm wrong. I need to commit though. If I don't commit this, we're not Oh he fucked off too, didn't he? Yeah, I forget. I forget he does that. Come on, buddy. Gonna have to be smart, guys, because I don't have the uh, the fortitude to to take on this many skeletons, because I can't really trade too much. That is a parry stance. Never attack that stance. If you do, do it with a jump attack if you can. And even then, like the the AI can parry all kinds of moves they shouldn't be able to parry. So don't think that you're safe just because you're doing a move that a player can't parry. There you go. He just got up, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Thanks. I need to push them off. There we go. I also need to chase this. No, it's not gonna work. What? How did he form up here? That's stupid. Is it his head? Is it the head that dictates where they form? I don't know. Thank you. That means a lot. Anyway. Whoa, the roll killed me. So traditionally, what you want to do here is you want to bring a bow to get rid of the the pyromancy guy, the necromancer. I don't have a bow at the moment, which is going to make this awkward. You can skip all this if you want to, but I'd like to at least have a look at it, because it's been such a long time. But depending on how, how successful we are here will depend on whether or not I do that. Oh wow, I didn't sit at the bonfire. Oh, that's bullshit. Why do I do these things? We've been spoiled by the later games, guys. Spoiled. That's why it's so difficult to come back. Because it just doesn't play the same. Old instincts have dulled. And I think the game has aged really, really well. It's still a great game. But there are certain aspects of it. That are willfully evil. And I'm probably going to die on my way back here just to spite the humanities that we had. I was quite enjoying collecting those. But we'll see. There's no longer going to be a necromancer because they don't come back. So we can at least get to the bonfire and hit it. If that guy isn't a fucking genius. And follows me every single path that we hit. So... That backflip looks so good. That is fantastic animation work. And none of the sequels have it. Which is really sad. Because the only reason that I played this game to begin with was because of that backflip. And the, uh, the side flip as well. The side flip is also so beautiful to me. Come on then, you knobhead. Get off the edge. Oi! Oi, so stupid! And he's got a massive falchion on and he's a moron. He's angry at that pot for some reason. There you go. Dickhead. Oh my god! I did not press the trigger! Why do I get weird moves? I'm getting robbed. That was perfect until it wasn't. Hi. You stop, please. Whoa! That was not a block. Anyway. Anybody else want to be a fucking hero? You're a knob! Oh, that'll do. Yay! He's now done. Which is good news. I'm gonna tell his family with a big fat smile. Your son was a dick, I'm glad he's dead. So, once again, finding uses for that R2. It's really cool. These guys should not get up now. They should stop that shit. That 
fucking move, dude. That he got me. Ooh, parried me through a wall. This frame he put that fucking stance on. Parried. Stupid. Very dangerous creatures. Ooh, we got this Lucerne, though. Or the Mordan. Is it Mordan Hammer? Mord I forget the name of that weapon in, uh, in Demons. As long as you st stay on top of the skeletons as they spawn, they're not so bad. And once again, if you're using a weapon that makes them crumble, you can just, like, debilitate each of them. Interesting. A roll attack into the stab. Eat my shit, bitch. We're going to come, though, to enemies who potentially will not... Is that a falling path? There's a lot of aspects of the catacombs that make you fall. I used to have it all memorised. Um, I don't anymore. He has a bow. Which means he won't fuck with me. And then... Are we going to meet Patches? Ouch. This is another location which I find to be willfully stupid. Just because of those those statues that stab you, why do they stab you? It's just so weird. Nice high frames, bitch. It's one of those things that I just I find really baffling. That's another opportunity where, oh, look, we can't uh, kill these either because it's the territory of the next necromancer. Which has put it back to being on edge a little bit as the enemies will continuously get back up. Which is a cool mechanic, it must be said. I don't like it. Well, that was weird. But just because I don't like it doesn't mean it's bad. It just means it's doing its job right. And there we go. Now, we should be good. That is a slow, a slow slash, sir. Dude, did you see the fucking iframes he just got? You scrub. Stop. Bitch. This looks like another place where you can fall down. You want to be really careful about doing... Sometimes it's wanted, sometimes it's not. Well, we find ourselves sinking deeper, deeper underground, just like Jamiroquai once did, when he made the song for that fantastic Godzilla movie that everybody loved. It went on to be a commercial success. Oh wait, maybe it wasn't. So, we're now in the territory of the next necromancer, which is going to spike me, right? Which is really frustrating. Because I can't remember where the fuck he is. I remember this bit. Oh, there he is. Stop it, dickhead. You're an asshole. Hi, guys. <laughs> what? Stay down, sir. There we go. Shit. Dude, everything's so slow in this game. Wow. I'm I'm I don't remember that. I don't remember like picking a fucking item up taking 40 minutes. That's crazy. That's scary. Have I been in here? No. Oh, that looked quick. I love the cancelling of that. That looks sweet. Fuck you. And you. Spiked. Ah. Uh, please don't spike me. Right. You don't have to get all the rings in this one, do you? You just have to get all the uh, spells and shit. All the fecal matter. Fecal matter is very important to Souls games.
That was Patches turning the bridge. He wants you to go on it so he can kill you. I could hear the speckling then of a secret. It sounded a little bit like a crystal lizard. There we go. It brings people back, which I'm averse to doing, but... It's a safety net, you know. Catacombs is a dangerous place. Thank you, sir. That means a lot. Stupid trap. Here he is. Can't kill him either. I'm gonna need him. Do watch your step. Can you buy from him here? No, you gotta wait for him, haven't you, to go back to uh, to Firelink Shrine. Is he gonna be a dick? The answer is almost certainly yes. Yeah, you see him moving. There it was. Bitch. Uncharitably done. Gives me a humanity. Talks a load of bullshit. I don't think he does it a second time, but it's, you know, I've not done this in such a long time. He could do. No, he's not being a dick anymore. And then this leads to... The Great Scythe, right? Yeah, everybody's uh, favourite best dex weapon that's not the best dex weapon. And then these floors fall down. Uh, let's fall down. Ah, I know this place. This leads to the Titanite demon. Prowling demon. It also leads to the... Uh, the Nito coffin, right? But it's very dark. And I don't want to fight this guy. If I can avoid it. Interesting, his uh, attack radius is very small. What the fuck was that? Is that the coffin? Ah, so it is. Yeah, let's do it behind him. I'm trying to think what that is. Mm. I can't remember. His aggro range is incredibly sharp. Just imagine if you come out the other side a different gender. How long do you have to sit in this thing before I forget? Do you need the dried fingers to make this work? I think you might need a... Oh, you might need... You might need something. I think you need what's behind the Titanite demon. Potentially. Hi. Hi. Yes, you need an Eye of Death. Okay, my timing's really good. I have no idea what happened then. I got killed. That happened. But that timing was fucking perfect. I'm just going to blame input lag, guys. It was the Bluetooth on my controller. I'm actually the best player in the world. <laughs> Dark Souls being Dark Souls, right? Luckily for us, we can get down there quite easily by uh, just dropping onto this and uh, not falling down. 
Hopefully I can get my shit back. Yeah, Eyes of Death. That's some of the things I've forgotten. The Covenant item names and what have you. It's the easier stuff to forget. Is this guy one of the tougher Titanite demons? I forget too. Hang on. Where the fuck's my stuff? Oh. Bollocks. This is bad. Interesting, he tried to jump. He did jump. And he still hit me with bullshit detection. Because this enemy's a fucking idiot. Can he hit me in here? No. I think it resets him. Yeah, a guy jumps, he's at least two meters away from me when he lands. Ugh. Best enemy in the game. Hang on a second. Uh-oh. Don't do it. Don't be a hero. Don't do it. Does he know what to do? I find this cutscene hilarious, right? Because I think if you fr if you freeze that, it's Mr. Papanito himself, right? And he has this ability to instantly translocate and move silently. And then you fight him, and he moves like a mountain. It takes him at least several centuries just to inch forward. And then you kill him, and he's rubbish. This shit's so weird. Tomb of the Giants. I need to be in human form as well for uh, some AI invasions. So look, he's in his coffin too. Look at him. He's got like... His piercings are other people's bodies. Like he's got assortments of dangling skeletons from these nipples and stuff. Guy's a beast. He's like one big huge mortuary coat hanger. And there you go, Gravelord Sword and Miracle Sword Dance. Don't I need to... Oh, I need to do something, don't I, to... To get the next one. I need to increase my, uh, loyalty. So to do that, I believe... You, uh, you farm the curse frogs, don't you? Or, of course, you Gravelord, but... Gravelording never worked right. It seemingly only worked on New Game Plus, and... There weren't many people that went to New Game Plus in Souls games. Which I'm sure there's going to be someone in the comments like, Oh, everybody goes to New Game Plus. You need it for this and this. And you need to realise, guys, that just because you went to New Game Plus and your friends went to New Game Plus and their friends went to New Game Plus, there's about 99% of people that played the game that never got out of the Berg. Because it was too hard for them. You know, It's a massive number of people that kindled their first bonfire and then never rung a bell. But it's easy to not realise just how small of a niche you are. Because to you, it's nothing, right? It's easy, it's simple, it's, you've done it thousands of times. But the game is hard. For some people, it's impossible. I don't really understand that kind of attitude, but... some. Oh my god! Oh my god! That was dodgy. Oh, he's throwing his garbage at me. Lucky for me, I'm an expert garbage musketeer. Isn't this the thing that leads to that weird ring? There's like a coffin, isn't there? With a bunch of skelly bobs around it and you can get a... Is it the dusk ring? I remember you, fellas. I also remember that I'm going to have problems killing you, aren't I? Because you're under a different necromancer. Why do you attack so fast? They're pretty good at navigating, I'll give them that. Assholes. You fucking bitch. I need to, I need to, I need to. Yeah, teabag, teabag, teabag. <laughs> Fuck it. Fuck it, fuck it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fuck. I knew that was going to end badly. It ended badly. God, and I'm going to have to go through all of it again to get my shit back. That's not good. That was a bad one. I was trapped in landing animations. It's my favourite part of Dark Souls landing animations. Can you imagine asking somebody, what's your favourite landing animation? They're like, what? 
I don't play flying games. No, I'm talking about Dark Souls, you know, that easy game that is full of them. Fucking nightmare game. This is there's no planet where this ends well, guys. I just I think you need to know that. I was trying to jump off the ladder, but I couldn't remember how the fuck you do it. Maybe you can't do it in this one. Something just died. I get the feeling like I need to uh, need to maybe have this on. Maybe salvage this, salvage the unsalvageable. Cause like, oh, they're there. How do they know? Fucking assholes. I could maybe use alluring skulls. Oh, you got iframes when you're on the ladder. Great. Fuck, I forgot about that. <gasps> the camera's so shit here, you can't even look behind you right. Hi. Damn it, damn it! There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Just in, just enjoy it. Just enjoy the balls. Fuck it. That's what I wanted to do. Is that is that a good place to drop? I can't tell. Oh! They hurt so much! You bitches! Oh my god! It's you again! Fuck you! <laughs> I'm stuck! Oh, it's scary being out here. This is where the skelly bobs really live. The bad ones. That one. Oh my god! I'm sorry, fellas. I'll never speak bad of you again. Stop it! Hi, hi guys. Fuck. This gets really crowded. <laughs> oh my goodness. There's a good reason nobody does this. This it. <laughs> Because it's fucking stupid. Get a off my screen, then I want to go my menu. Something that didn't change either, I hate that. Anyway. Ah ha ha ha. Too sexy for you. Let's continue what we were doing. There's a nice little tangent of death and discovery, and uh, death, and more death. All to get to a black knight that's gonna chase us anyway. If you do the right thing. Oh, I saw him. I have to get creative here though, don't I? To get to him. I can't quite remember how. But this could be it. Hi guys. Dude, the fucking landing animation! It's so bad! I was mashing then as well, you probably heard. I'm a gifted masher. Hi. Yeah, Dark Moon Seance Ring, I remember that. I also remember getting out of this room is a pain in the penis. Fuck you! Stop! The racism! Fuck you! Oh, I'm gonna get killed by an archer. Yeah, this is bad news, bears. This is bad news, bears! The bears! Stop! Stop me the. Ah! Oh! You cunts! Stop! Where does this lead? Oh. There. How do I get to that knob head? I forget. Bye. You won't be being a problem anymore. That was a skull exploding. I can't remember how to get to him. Which sucks. Not the end of the world. But not fun. Hmm. I'm trying to think if there's anything else, because I got the Seance Ring, which I'm undoubtedly going to need at some point. There we go. Give me that sexy damage. I need to be in human form, don't I, to summon Leroy? Is there any reason to summon Leroy? 
I don't remember. I don't think there is. I can look at this little shit. Just chilling out. Assholes. I don't entirely remember what that item is that I've passed up. Fucker. I think of you. If I got the bone wheel skeleton then. Uh, the bone wheel itself, that would have been great. Ooh, I wonder if we'll get something good of pinwheel if I don't die. You're probably thinking, who the fuck dies to pinwheel? And <laughs> This guy. <laughs> I die all the time in a pinwheel. I'm an expert player. Not interested in your cutscene pinwheel. I never liked you to begin with, friend. Is he retarded? I, I could never tell, like, it's such a dumb boss. Love how I've got 40 strength and you just can't tell. Ooh, that's not a bad one. I'll put that shit on just because everybody used to hate it. Gives me stamina too, which means I can drop the shield if need be, but I don't really, uh, don't really want to. So now I have two stamina recovery augmentations, which is pretty much the way you want it to be. Look at the Murakumos in here. And again, they might be not Murakumos. Look a little bit like butcher knives. Bent butcher's knives. 